Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. I'm going to start out with an oracle card from the Angels and Ancestors deck to get a feel for what the energy is for the month of November and what guidance you need. Then I'll get into the tarot reading and some more oracle cards at the end. All right, what does Pisces need to hear, please, for November 2020? What is the most important message? Guidance for Pisces for the month of November. All right, so we have two cards. Wow, this is beautiful. I believe this came out for another sign as well. Or the Elder card was at the bottom of the deck. I can't remember which one it was, but... Um, so far, I have done Sagittarius, I've done Libra, and Capricorn. So it's one of those. All right, so I believe it was Capricorn. Um, unlock the magic within. So this is about realizing your true power um, and unlocking it. So this could mean spending some time in meditation um, getting to know the power within you. And I feel like this is more of an internal card. So instead of looking at external circumstances or things happening outside of yourself, this is about looking within. And this also goes along with manifestation. Um, you need to direct your power, direct your will, direct your thoughts to bring something to creation. So right now, this is about really calling on the energy of magic to help you, um, support you. And right now, this is a time to look within, searching for answers within. And just knowing that all the power that you have is already in you. But you can make this more powerful. So very nice energy. The Elder card. Move beyond ancestral patterns. So this could be how you handle certain situations in life, your thought patterns, how you deal with anything, including even love in your life, how you communicate. So there's something here that wants you to move beyond maybe certain things that your family has passed down to you. And, you know, I'll use the same example I used for Capricorn, but... Say you had a parent that had a difficult time showing love and, you know, then you had a difficult time showing love and then it gets passed down to your child. So that's just an example, but this is really saying to move beyond those patterns and to work on healing because breaking the cycle of ancestral patterns will be very important for the generations ahead. Um, I think this is also about really reclaiming your power. So a lot of this is focusing on reclaiming the power within you or even understanding the power within you. Very nice energy. All right, so let's get to the tower reading and we'll see how this ties in. What does Pisces need to hear, please, for November 2020? Messages and guidance for the sign of Pisces for November 2020. Wow, talking about power within, look at this, the king of wands, fire energy. So the element of fire focuses on strength, courage, the passion within you. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius, unlocking the magic within, understanding your power. Wow, very nice. We have the Empress. Um, regardless whether you're male or female, this King of Wands, even if you're a female, could be asking you to tap into that King of Wands energy. We do have the Empress. This could be a mother and father in your life or that energy, grandparent, whatever it may be, brother, sister. This could be you, but this is really focusing on the power within you. The Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, maybe bringing that into balance. Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Wands and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this really is, especially when we see the Nine of Pentacles, this is something that involves your happiness with yourself. It's an independent energy with the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like 
this is more of an independent time for you or a time to really focus on yourself and go inwards versus maybe focusing on others. But I can see how this really ties in so far. All right. What else do we have for Pisces, please? You may be the one that is called upon to really break any kind of patterns. Yeah, look at this, the magician. Really nice energy. All right, so the magician is um, all about power, manifesting, realizing the power within. The dove represents peace, but we have all the elements here, earth, water, fire, and air. Wands, cups, pentacles, swords. Okay, we have the ace of wands. We have the queen of cups. So I feel like this is more focusing on your independence, your happiness with yourself. Um, all right, what else for Pisces? Okay, we have the nine of wands. So this can represent a challenge that you're going through. All right, let's take a look at what the most important message is. And then we'll pull one more from the Archangel Power Tarot for extra guidance. Okay, we have the moon energy. Yeah, so this is your card, Pisces, the moon. This focuses on a time where it is really about going inward, connecting with the yin energy, um, your intuition, because things are not completely clear at this time with the moon energy. Pay attention to the moon cycles, especially the new moons and full moons um, and what they represent in your life. Full moons are when things can come to a culmination or the energy is very powerful at that time to bring in manifestation. So you could do a certain ritual um, or set your intentions around that time. Light a candle associated with the color, which you can easily find by researching or reading a book. But for example, green could be wealth and health. Um, white for purification. These are just some examples, but orange for strength. And that is associated with the solar plexus. So, all right, let's pull one from the Archangel Power Tarot. And just remember, with the moon cycles, especially when we reach a full moon, and then right after that, the moon is disseminating and it's waning. So it's about breathing out, um, taking stock of what just occurred or our emotions. Most important message for Pisces. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, this is really focused on power. This could even be power of communication, um, the power of intellect and wisdom. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So this could be about building your career or um, regardless, even if this is about building in the relationship with yourself because this is a very independent energy with the nine of pentacles with um this empress energy so if there are any creative projects that you want to work on i think that you're going to be getting the answers that you need but i think it's going to come a little bit later maybe towards the end of the month or into december um i think november is about gaining the wisdom using your intuition with the moon energy not everything is clear you don't have all the answers but the answers lie within they may not just be right in front of you so you do have them but they lie within and it is about accessing them you hold the key and that is the message for this month so with the empress energy this represents venus so it could be the material that you have venus rules taurus and libra it could be the things that you love, what you want to build, your career, the birth of something new, new ideas, creative projects, and this could be involving money and resources. So maybe you want to focus on something that you do that you love that's a creative project that you could make money from. The two of wands is being at a crossroads. It is planning. It's all the details. And then that nine of pentacles is about feeling secure. Feeling, um, trusting yourself, the independence, wealth. So this will lead to wealth. But right now it is about creating, releasing fears, anything, any kind of blockages. And this is just coming to me. So I just want to put this out there. If there is someone maybe in your family who's of an older generation, who's more focused on doing things that are practical, like 
following a specific career. That's not what this world is today. Uh, a career isn't for everybody like, you know, a doctor or a lawyer. For some people, it's going to be about more of the creative work. It could be making candles. It could be tarot readings. It could be writing a book. But those are just examples. So releasing the fear or any kind of, you know, um, negative talk that someone gives to you. You don't want to feed yourself with that talk. Um, and it's really about creating your own your own path. And the Queen of Swords is a good boundary setter as well. So with the Magician, you have all the tools that you need. It's just a matter of setting the intentions and really focusing on what you want to bring into your life, what you want to manifest. So the Ace of Wands, there's a new beginning, a new opportunity. It could be feeling the inspiration. Go with that. Trust yourself and... Now this is a time of starting to put your foot forward, create a little bit of action. It could be something as simple as starting a website. Queen of Cups, so Pisces, this can be you. Um, this is someone who is very loving, very caring, very nurturing. So this could be involving work that has to do with maybe art. Or again, maybe you want to, for example, bless herbs and sell bundles of herbs to people with your blessings. Um, so Nine of Wands, the challenge here, I feel like with the Nine of Wands is to overcome your fears and release any blockages that may come from the elders. Um, and to really know your power within with unlocking the magic. So I feel like this is a pretty straightforward reading. Um, Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. So we have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Hermit. All right, so the High Priestess. This is very magical. This is a card that focuses on the secrets and mysteries of magic, the occult. Some of you may have very powerful psychic energy. Maybe you want to build upon that. Um, psychic readings, mediumship, um, connecting with spirits, you know, um, looking for what people call ghosts and spirits, um, ghost hunting if you want to call it that, but... This is the High Priestess energy that is full of mysteries to unlock. And I think that right now for some of you, you need to unlock the mystery and magic within, especially Pisces. If you are sun sign Pisces, that 12th house energy focuses on spirituality and connecting with the other worlds. It's about thin veils and being able to connect. And Halloween or Samhain, is a time where they say the veil's thinnest. So maybe this is something that you wanna do right after Halloween, the beginning of November. Um, the earth is changing and that is creating that. So then we have the hermit, so Virgo energy. And we know the queen of cups again is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But the hermit is someone who is seeking the truth, seeking guidance, seeking wisdom. Someone who is solitary, who goes within. All right, let's look at the Nine of Wands. What is this challenge here with the Nine of Wands? That can be about standing your ground with people, setting boundaries. Um, it can also be about the challenge that is finding the magic within. Let's look at the Nine of Wands. And then we'll pull some Oracle Guidance. All right, so the challenge also could be um, releasing things that you're holding on to out of fear. And this is the physical stuff, fear of not having enough money, fears that you won't be provided for, or be able to build a solid foundation. So that's what I feel with that four of pentacles. It could also be the challenge of um, trying to build a solid foundation for yourself with doing this. All right. I'm going to pull one from a deck I have, Teen Angel, and then another from the Moonology deck. What is the guidance for Pisces for November 2020? What does Pisces need to hear, please, for November? All right. Interesting. So we have talked to someone you trust. 
All right, so although some of you may be feeling um, very solitary this month, there could be somebody here, like this King of Wands energy. It could be someone who's more of a masculine energy. Um, that is someone that you trust. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a father, but you know it could be a father figure. Um, or just a male energy that makes you feel comforted. Um, I think, you know, this is really focused on needing to share your thoughts and feelings with someone. And they may be able to help you. Um, they could help you in a way by even, for example, just making you feel stronger or recognizing the strength and power that you have within. Someone who helps you to be able to trust yourself. And sometimes it's just someone who you're able to talk to just to release that energy. Um, so I think that there's someone here who you need to think about who you can trust in this situation. And if you look again, there's like a dual energy here and it could represent someone who has a very loving energy like the Empress. For some of you male Pisces, this could be a female energy in your life to help bring that balance. But I do see how this is about really balancing the energies. All right, let's take a look and see what you need from Moonology. What does Pisces need to hear, please, from the Moonology deck? Guidance from the moon. Look at the bigger picture. Okay, so very important. Instead of worrying about the details that are involved in all of this, like the process, how am I going to do this? How can I afford this? Or how is this going to work out? Instead of giving yourself anxiety with all of that, just take a look at the bigger pictures, picture because I feel like you could be maybe focused more on the dilemma right now or some kind of a dilemma. Something is distracting you. Um, so I think really this is a powerful message for you to be able to have fun and create and make money at the same time for some of you. Um, but just remember, count the blessings that you have and trust that the situation is going to work out the way that it needs to because I'm sensing some fear in this situation. I hope that you have an amazing month ahead, Pisces. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.